How do we pay for all of that? Uh, walk us through what you just heard there and your assessments. Well, I hearken back to what I heard growing up. When somebody tells you who they are, you should believe them. And as, as a Democrat candidate for president at one time, she was the first to raise her hand to say we should decriminalize illegal crossing. She said that we should uh, abolish ICE. We should give illegal immigrants free health care, free to them, not to the American taxpayer. And by the way, she's accomplished that as borders are. She has de facto abolished ICE and the Border Patrol with this open border policy, hamstringing them to do their job, the catch and release mentality of this administration. They, they have provided the health care at, at tens of billions of dollars to people who aren't a, a citizens of this country when we can't even afford to pay Medicare and Social Security and the entitlements that we have for our own citizens. So she's been a disaster. She was clearly the point person as the borders are. She owns that. She should be accountable for the fact that she, she visited once or twice. She never went to the epicenter of the crisis in the Rio Grande Valley. She didn't meet with the border chiefs, the current border chiefs she hasn't met with. Um, look, it's, it's, this is what she believes. She believed it before she ran for president. When she ran the first time, she still believes it. Again, uh, Joe Biden was a placator and appeaser in chief of the left. She is the left. And I think that should make everybody worried about the future of our country and, and, as the Democrat candidate. And she's saying it right there. I mean, she just said it in her first event. Uh, you know, every worker has the freedom to join a union. Every person has affordable health care, affordable child care, paid family leave. Every senior retires with dignity. She wants the government to pay for it all. The, the journal writes, the promise is that Uncle Sam will deliver it all. But that means much higher taxes for the rest of us, doesn't it? Absolutely. Let's... Listen, it's tens of trillions of dollars for the Green New Disaster, not to mention they would destroy our energy economy and turn us into a third world country. It's 30 plus trillion dollars for this single payer system, government controlling our health care, controlling the means of production and redistributing wealth is socialism. She's full fledged socialist yeah. and there's no way you can pay for it we're already 35 trillion in debt and she wants to double down on the spending and the taxing and the regulating of of the first four years of the biden harris administration she would destroy the greatest economy in the world that underpins our quality of life and the prosperity for our children big time disaster i think the american people are pretty clued in on it quite yeah. frankly who do you think her running mate will be mr chairman you know what i don't I don't know. She's probably going to try to do what she did in the speeches that you just played to sort of sh to reimagine what Kamala Harris would be if she wasn't a California leftist. Mm. Uh, so she's going to have to go uh, the opposite direction. But but again, she has to own the disastrous policies and the consequences of the last four years. Yeah. There's no way for her to get around that. I don't care who she picks. Mr. Chairman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you, Maria. Chairman Arrington joining us in D.C. Stay with us. We'll be right back.